Hey guys, guess what time it is? Time to scrapbook. <laughs> hey, welcome to uh, Scrapping It Up. I am Vanessa Peter and we are going to get this party started. See, there's my notification. Party time. <laughs> so welcome, welcome guys. And um, tonight we are going to be making um, the recipe album. And I don't, hey, yeah, guys. I knew I'd have to turn Party my time. volume. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, guys. Yeah. All right, got that done. <laughs> so I want to welcome everyone. And um, like I said, we are going to get this party started. So yay, yay. <laughs> Um, now if you bought the tutorial to go with this, um, I'm working on version number three. Okay. Version number three is what I'm working on. Um, and how you know that it, when you go inside a box, it will say, um, version three. Um, and I need to fix that to where it says it on the cutting guide somewhere. I don't know if I can do that or not, but I need to be doing that. So, so far, we have three versions, and probably by the time we're done, we'll have probably ten versions, because I'm notorious for mistakes. <laughs> Real good at making mistakes, guys. <laughs> so, yes, this is going to be a fun evening. Grab you a margarita. Um, if you're new to my channel, guys, um, grab you a drink of your choice and sit back. Um, watch it, write down the measurements, you know, if you didn't purchase the tutorial, I, I won't be spending a, a whole lot of time on the measurements. Um, I will write them down on a sticky note and, um, you know, as I'm cutting and scoring, I'll, I'll write it down on a sticky note and then that way you guys, while it's laying here for a little bit, you guys can write the measurements down or you can purchase the tutorial over on my website. Um, scrapping it up with no G dot com. Okay. And right now, while we're working on this, it is a very um, low price. Okay. Very low price. I think $7.50. You get three albums. You get um, my number one recipe album. You get number two, which has the folio. And I will be putting the chipboard in there as soon as we get the classes done. Okay. So I want to welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome. This is going to be fantastic. <laughs> if you are a newbie um, to this, um, say, hey, I'm new and everybody will give you a great big welcome. Okay. <laughs> All right. So with that said, if you're watching on the replay, and you have a question um, on Facebook, hashtag it. So um, that it just alerts me um, that you have a question. Okay. Because sometimes um, I have so many questions that I can't um, keep. It just so many of them. And when it's hashtagged, it just alerts me and I can, you know, pick them up and answer your question. Um, if you're um, on YouTube, put it in the comment section below and I will get to you. Um, I will be keeping a close eye on all my messages during this time. So um, you can always message me on Facebook. You can always comment on YouTube and I will um, get right back to you guys. Okay. All right. So anything else? Oh, um, while I'm thinking of it, um, Tomorrow night, same time, same place, um, we will do have class part two. And then Tuesday night will be part three, okay? So tomorrow night, same time, same place. And um, yeah. And then I work Wednesday and Thursday, so I will probably come on. I don't know. We'll have to see how work goes, okay? I work outside the home, too. So um Sometimes my time is a little bit limited, but I will let you know Tuesday night um, when our next class will be. OK, and I, I think it's probably going to take us about four classes to put all this together, 
all this goodness. <laughs> all right. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I don't know if she's on here or not. Um, you guys can let me know if you have seen her name. But this is the winner. On my Facebook page, I, I posted a huge pumpkin. And the guy was at the gas station. And I took a pic and I had you guys all guess the weight of the pumpkin. Oops. Uh... Julie Rangel. I don't know if she's on here. Krissa. And two guys, Krissa is um, a moderator for me. So if you guys have any questions, um, Krissa will be answering most of your um, questions that you guys have. So, um, yeah, I've and the ladies in inside here are very, very helpful. So if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And um, she will help you guys out. OK, that's right. Same time, same place, same scrap channel. You're right, Michelle. <laughs> Telling your age. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, but Julie Wrangle. OK, contact me, either message me or um, email me. You are the winner of my you get a free month of my tutorial club, a free month. Now, the the weight of that pumpkin was 1,500 pounds, and she guessed it right on the nose, right on the nose. So she is my winner, okay? And we may be doing some fun things um, throughout this time, and I will be, you know, giving some more free months of my tutorial club out, okay? So, yeah, I told you, we're going to get this party started. <laughs> All right, so let's, you're going to need um, a pair of scissors and a bone folder and um, a trimmer, score pile tape, corner rounder is pretty optional, just totally up to you, okay, a pencil and a ruler, and you're going to need a scoreboard, okay, a scoreboard. All right, um, you're going to need some cardstock, and I'm using 65 pound weight cardstock, okay, from Michael's Recollections. And you will need chipboard because this is a chipboard album. And Tyvac, Tyvac is completely optional, okay. And I use the Tyvac in the spine of the album to help reinforce it to make it last longer, okay. So it's optional. Um, do I recommend it? Yes, I do recommend Tyvac in your spine of your album, okay? Because this album is going to be open, shut, open, shut. If you can't get a hold of any Tyvac, I do have some inside my shop. You're more than welcome to go um, purchase it. I have chipboard in my shop too. So, um, yeah, if you can't find anywhere, look on Amazon and stuff. So, yes. All right. And I am going to be using a lot of 12 by 12 and 8 and a half by 11. Okay. All right. Here is the folio. We'll look at it. And the chipboard one is basically going to be the same. I may add a few things to it. But, um, yeah, you guys will. Um, I'll always keep the um, cutting guide updated. So let's do a real quick preview of this if you haven't seen it. This is what we're going to be making, okay? All right, here it is, and all its beauty. <laughs> no, Craft Tex is not the same, darling. No, Craft Tex is this stuff. Here's Tyvac, ladies. Tyvac. The, these are those office envelopes, okay? This is Tyvac, okay? This is Craftex. Craftex is a lot like leather. I'm going to be using, um, well, it all depends, um, Connie. Um, I guess I'm going to be using 12 by 12 because you think about it. This thing is 10 by 10 by 11. 
So most of the time I won't be able to use my eight and a half by 11. I'll use my eight and a half by 11 if I can, but most of the time 12 by 12. And I'm using medium weight chipboard too. Okay. This is craft text. And I love craft text. Love it. Love it. That's what um, the spine of this folio is out of. It is very, very durable. And tie back, you cannot rip it. You cannot tear it. It is very durable stuff. All right. So let's do a real quick preview. And then we will get busy crafting. Okay. So you open it up. And this is going to be hard to keep on camera. And I have it wrong because it's supposed to be like that. There we go. So you open it up. And then you open it up again. We have our middle part. And then we have our two ends. These two ends mirror each other. Okay. And then the middle is, is its own separate entity. Okay. So then this opens and this opens. <laughs> this thing keeps on going and going and going. So we have a pocket here, a pocket here, pocket here. So that opens a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. And then there's the back. And we'll do something with the back. I'm just not for sure um, what yet. Okay. So then we have these here. So they flip. Let me move this on over. We have a pocket. A pocket. These open up. Then we have a nice pocket right here. Okay. And then we have this little flap that we're going to be um, what I call my patchwork pages. Okay. I don't know if um, very many of you have heard of it, but um, I've been doing it for almost two years now. And I call them my patchwork pages. It's almost like putting a quilt together. But I will show you exactly how to do this. And there is no right and wrong to them. You just use your scraps to put it together to make something beautiful. Okay, so then this side is the same way. You've got your pocket, pocket. It's just the same thing, okay? So now we have this side and this side, and they mirror each other, and I'll just show you one side, okay? So this opens up, and i got to move it on over. <laughs> this one may be very hard to keep in camera. <laughs> you have a pocket here, nice Big, generous pocket. Okay, so you have a flap and a flap. And then you have a pocket, pocket, and pocket. Then a pocket here. And a pocket here. A pocket here. That's full of pockets, guys. I, I'm telling you. Here. And a nice, generous pocket here for those pages that we tear out of our magazines for recipes. Okay. And the other side mirrors um, the, the, the other side. Okay. Now, this is a folio. You will get the cutting guide all for this. You'll get the cutting guide for the chipboard one. And you'll get the process videos, written instructions for both of these. Okay. And you get my... Um, very first recipe album that I done and it was nine, nine by nine all in the same tutorial. Okay. And I will be using the um, apron strings by simple stories. Okay. And I think I showed this, but that's the collection. And then we'll be making a little booklets to go inside our um, recipe folio that uses simple stories pocket pages so i will be showing you how to make that too okay all right and, and if you do want to purchase um a, a kit i did have these i do have these kits on my website 
Um, I currently, I was sold out and I ordered more. So I added a few more kits to my website. If you want to order them, I should have them in my hands by the end of the week. And then a few days to shipping and you would have your kit. Um, I do offer two different payment options. You can pay either in full or two um two payments okay one and then 30 days later the other payment okay all right who is ready to get started let me know in the comments who's ready who is ready to get this party started let me know in the comments and i do have my margarita <laughs> so i hope you guys have the drink of your choice so we are going to get this we're going to get started, guys. All right. Oh, Darlene says yes. Linda says yes. Betty says let's go. Kim says ready. Mary says yes. Okay. You ladies are on it. You guys are ready to go. Yes. All right, so let me get my cutter out. And um, I had you in the tutorial for the chipboard album um, omit pieces A, B, and Q. I think I'm going to add those, and I know. And I know you guys are going to say, oh, Vanessa, come on. <laughs> but I was um, looking at this and I think I want to add those back in. I, I think I'm going to add something extra to our chipboard album that the folio doesn't have because we're going to be using a chipboard album. So, hey, why not stuff more in it? <laughs> so I'm going to add pieces A, B and Q back in to the cutting guide all right you never know about me i change my mind all the time yes um i do make mistakes sometimes more so than what i should should oh welcome pamela <laughs> uh, shelly so will you tell the chipboard directions or card stuck um i will directions Yeah, I will be adding the chipboard. Yeah, I mean, as, as we do the lives, um, I will add to the um, right right at the moment. I do not know the chipboard um, measurements yet. OK, but as soon as we get them done in class, then I will um, add those to the um, tutorial. OK, I hope that answered your question. All right. Pam says she's ready. And Evelyn says she's ready too. Okay, let's do her. So I'm going to add pieces A, B, and Q back into the mix. Because I think I want to add some extra elements to this chipboard album. And, you, and if anybody's been following me for a while, you know I keep on going and going and going. Just like the Energizer Bunny. And sometimes you guys got to tell me to stop. <laughs> I used to work for Energizer. So I am known to keep on going and going. <coughs> okay. So piece A. You guys all got your pencils and paper already. For those of you that run want to write down the measurements. You guys ready? What'd you do, Pamela? What did you what did you do today? All right. Piece A. Piece A is ten by eleven. Okay. Piece A is ten by eleven. Okay, piece A is 10 by 11. Okay. 
and we'll cut and then we'll tape and then we will score okay kind of like an assembly line <coughs> excuse me dang it piece a 10 by 11 okay piece b is 10 by 12 10 by 12 guys okay 10 by 12 Oh, you dressed up as Energizer Bunny? That's awesome, Melissa. Yeah, I worked down there for tw um, 18 years. I worked for the Energizer Bunny until they closed the plant. And then that's when I bought my floral shop and then done it for four years. And then now I'm scrapping it up. Piece B is 10 by 12. Okay. Okay. Piece C is 10 and a half by 11. 10 and a half by 11. Okay. 10 and a, 10 and a half by 11. Okay. Ten and a half by 11. Yowch. That was. Sh See, I just cut myself with my trimmer. What the heck? I've only done that once before. Now I'm bleeding. <laughs> C is 10 and a half. Sorry. By 11. Dang it. I don't even have. Do I have a paper towel? Yeah, I do. Have a little bit of a paper towel. Dang it. That's smart. <laughs> Dang it. It's like, let me get this to stop bleeding. Some people don't like the sight of blood. <laughs> so I'm very... Piece D is 6 by 12. 6 by 12. You need two of these. Two pieces, 6 by 12. So I'm just going to cut this one right in half. And there's my two pieces. Okay. Six by 12. All right. There it is. Piece D. Two pieces at six by 12. Okay. Yeah, I have to write on this recipe card because sometimes this, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if it did go through because it's black on black. <laughs> Duh, Vanessa. You did that last night, Julie? Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, crazy. All right. I think I got it. All right. Two pieces of D, six by 12. Okay. E is one piece at 10 and a half by 11. 10 and a half by 11. Ten and a half. Uh, Gina, the scoring guide says, oh, you've got the old, you got the old guide, Gina. Piece D, it, oh, wait a minute. Piece D is your pocket. Let's double check, Gina, real quick. Let's double check. Okay. Piece D. Yeah, piece D is your pocket. And that should be that should be six by twelve. Yes, six by twelve on piece D. Yeah, on, on piece D is 6 by 12, two of them. 
You might have the old, you probably got the old cutting guide. Yeah, the old cutting guide had seven. Yes. Yeah, you should be working from version number three. I updated it the la um, last night. I um, was brought to my attention that I had a mistake and I um, fixed it. So we're working on version three. Okay. Okay, let's check piece E real quick. Piece E. Um, piece E should be. Piece E is ten and a half. Yeah, you've got you've got the old version, hun. Because I, I changed it up just a little bit after I done it the first time. So piece E. Okay. Piece E is 10 and a half by 11. 10 and a half by 11. Okay. And piece E should. Piece E should be two of them. So there's another mistake. There's, there's my first one. Piece E is two of them. Ten and a half by eleven. Okay. Ten and a half by eleven. Okay. Piece E. Oh, I gotta get some more paper. Piece E is ten and a half by eleven. Okay. Oh, there it is. Piece E need two of them at ten and a half by eleven. All right. Piece F is eight and a half by nine and a half. Eight and a half by nine and a half. And this is where I use my eight and a half by 11. Eight and a half by nine and a half you need two of these two of these pieces please okay let me grab some more paper okay two pieces at eight and a half by nine and a half This is piece F, eight and a half by nine and a half, and you need two of them, okay? G is um, four and a half by nine, four and a half by nine, okay? Oh, that was dumb. I cut that wrong. Crap, I was. <laughs> I cut that wrong. <laughs> oh. Okay, four and a half by nine. Okay. Okay, four and a half by nine. And you need two of these. Okay. Four and a half by nine. Four and a half by nine. Mm 
two of those. Piece G, four and a half by nine, and you need two of them. Okay, H, seven and a half by eight and a quarter. Seven and a half by eight and a quarter. Seven and a half by eight and a quarter. And you need two of those. Okay. And then as soon as we get all the pieces cut for the middle, then we will start scoring and taping and we'll start putting some of it together. So piece H, you need two of them at seven and a half by eight and a quarter. Okay. Piece H, seven and a half by eight and a quarter. And you need two of those. Okay. Okay, piece I is four by eight and a quarter. And let me check that. Oh, okay, that's that part there. Okay. Piece I is four by eight and a quarter. Okay, four by eight and a quarter. Four by eight and a quarter. And you need two of these. Four by eight and a quarter. And you need two of those. Piece I. Two of them. At four by eight and a quarter. Okay. Piece J is nine by nine. Okay, nine by nine. And you just need one of them. Just one, nine by nine. Okay, nine by nine. Just one of them. And that's piece J. Nine by nine, just one. Okay. K is three and a half by ten. Now I'm going to dig in my pieces over here and find me a piece. All right. So three. Oh, it's got to be three and a half. Whoops. Whoops. I should have a piece. Well, maybe I don't. Never mind. Three and a half by ten. Okay, three and a half by ten. And we just need one of these. Three and a half by ten. And that is piece K. And you just need one. L is four by ten. All right. Piece L is four by ten. M is seven and a half by nine, and you need two of those. Okay, seven and a half by nine. Okay. 
seven and a half by nine. Okay, and you need two of these. Okay, this is piece M. Seven and a half by nine. Whoops, I almost cut that wrong. Seven and a half by nine. Two of them, please. Piece M. Okay, piece N is four and a half by six. And we're going to need four of these. Four of these. Okay. Four and a half by six. Cut this by six first. Okay. You're going to need four of these. At four and a half by six. One. Two. Four and a half by six. You're going to need four of them. Four of them. Okay. Uh, piece in. You're going to need four of them at four and a half by six. Okay. Piece O. You're going to need four of them at five by seven and a half. You're going to need four of these at five by seven and a half. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut my seven and a half first. And then cut my five. You're going to need four of these guys. Four of these. We go through the whole alphabet. We're going through the whole alphabet plus um, double double um, stacking of the alphabet. But we're just going to work on the middle section tonight. I don't want to spend all night cutting and <laughs> all that. Nope. What did I cut? So seven and a half by five. Okay. Seven and a half by five, you're going to need four of them. I know. I love using the post it notes too. Yes, I love it. Okay, so piece O, four of them at five by seven and a half. Okay, piece P is two by six. Two by six. Two by six. Oh, use your scraps, duh. Use your scraps, guys. Two by six. And you're going to need four of these. Okay. Two by six. Just like the hurricane. <laughs> yep. All right. Two by six. And that probably is two. Yep. Close enough for me. They're just belly bands. Let me see if I can find. Here's another one. Two by six, and you're going to need four of them. Well, I could not have done that any, any better. <laughs> is that four? Yep, that is four. So P is four of them at two by six. Okay.
the outer in lumber, I know. <laughs> oh, my word, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to throw away some of my scraps here. Now, pieces like this, I will save because you never know. We could do a belly band. Uh, I might do um, something with them. Okay. Well, that's an awful big piece to have. But all these other ones, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw those away. Get them out of my road. I used to save them. I used to kind of donate them too. All right. So now we have these pieces. So let's get these pieces scored. I'm going to grab my scoreboard. Okay. So I'll, I'll um, throw out the measurements. And I'm going to start at P. Okay. And then work my way back down. Okay, guys. All right. Let's, let's get this done. Piece P. You're going to score on the six inch side at half an inch and half an inch. Okay. Do this to all four pieces. You're scoring on the six inch side at half an inch. Okay. I won't write these down, guys. It's, otherwise, it's going to take me. I'll just keep repeating it. <laughs> Six inch side at half an inch on each end. Okay. That's piece P. Piece O is just going to score on the seven and a half inch side at half an inch. Seven and a half inch side at half an inch. Do that to both pieces. Okay. Oh, I didn't even. Piece in is four and a half. Nope. This second. I gotta figure out. Oh, that's the rest of O. Oh, never mind, because four of them. Duh. Seven and a half inch side at half an inch. This is piece O. Oh. Okay. Piece in. We're scoring on six and a half inch side. Um, sorry, I misspoke. I misspoke on that one, guys. I misspoke, okay? Piece in. We're scoring on the six inch side at half an inch on each end, okay? The six inch side, half an inch on each end, okay? And then on the four and a half inch side at half an inch. And that doesn't matter which half, in, you know, which side you score on. It doesn't matter. Okay. Sometimes I like scoring the half an inch on here because if I cut just a hair over, it's going to take up that slack. Okay. Do this to all four pieces okay all four pieces guys some of this I should probably should have had pre-cut and only done it once piece M we're scoring on the seven and a half, seven and a <coughs> seven and a half inch side at half an inch. Okay, piece M on the seven and a half inch side at half an inch. Okay, guys.
All right, piece L is going to be a pocket. So we're going to score on the 10 inch side at half an inch on each end. On the 10 inch side, half an inch on each end. And then on the 4 inch side, And then on the four inch side, we're scoring at two and a half. Okay, two and a half. This is a back pocket. Okay, piece L, you're scoring on the 10 inch side at half an inch on each end. Four inch side, you are scoring at two and a half. Okay, for stacked pockets. Okay, piece K. As you're going to score half an inch on each end of the 10 inch okay and then half an inch on the three and a half inch side it's a pocket okay so you scored half an inch on the three inch side and a half an inch on the 10 inch side okay piece J is a nine by nine piece you're going to score on one of the nine inch sides at Okay, just we're scoring on one side of the nine inch. <coughs> we're going to score at half an inch. Okay. And then we're also scoring at five eighths. Scoring at five eighths. Three and a quarter. And then seven eighths. You're going to have four one eighth intervals so you're scoring on one nine inch side at half an inch five eighths three quarters and seven eighths okay that's piece j all right <coughs> all right piece i Two of them. We're going to score on the eight and a quarter inch side, half an inch on each end. Half an inch on each end of the eight and a quarter. And then on the four inch side at half an inch. Okay, do the same thing to piece I. You're scoring half an inch on each end of I on the four or I'm sorry piece I half an inch on each end of the eight and a quarter okay and then on the four inch side at half an inch this is a pocket okay this is a pocket okay do that to both pieces piece H On the eight and a quarter inch side, on the eight and quarter inch side, okay, you are going to score at seven and a quarter and seven and a half. So seven and a quarter, okay, seven and a quarter and seven and a half. That, that's a given a, a quarter inch gusset, okay. Do that to both pieces of H, please. On the eight and a quarter inch side, you're scoring at seven and a quarter, seven and a half. Okay. Piece G. Again, this is a pocket. So on the nine inch side, we're scoring half an inch on each end. Okay. Half an inch on each of your nine inch side and then on four and a half inch side you're scoring half an inch okay piece g nine inch side half an inch on each end and then half an inch on the four inch side do that to both pieces please we're getting closer we're getting closer guys on the eight and a half inch side, we're scoring at half an inch. Eight and a half inch side at 
half an inch. Piece F. Piece F, guys. Piece F. Piece E. I got to turn my... Piece E is our 10 and a half by 11. You need two of them. Two of them, please. Okay? And I know the cut guide, I need to change that one. We're going to score on the 10 and a half inch side at 9. This gives us our... Um, oh my gosh, now I forgot. Our patchwork page piece. Okay? That gives us our patchwork page piece. Score on the 10 and a half inch side at 9. At 9, please. Okay. Piece D. We're scoring on the 12 inch side at half an inch on each end. Each end. On the 12 inch side, half an inch. Ugh. That one's a little bit off. Let's see what happens. I didn't like how that one looked in my scoreboard. Okay. PC on the ten and a half. Um, PC ten and a half side at nine. A second, let me let me double check that real quick. Let me double check PC. <gasps> That's why we only needed one E. Duh, Vanessa. You only need one piece of E. Okay, that was correct. Scratch that because C is just like E. E is one piece. E is one piece, guys. Okay. E is one piece. Because C is just like E. I should have noticed that earlier. But I didn't. I told you. I make mistakes, guys. I make mistakes. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's that? Think I will be happier without them? Uh-oh. What is she talking about? <laughs> I've been so busy doing this. I'm missing out. I think I'm missing out, guys. <laughs> Piece B. You're going to score on the 12-inch side at half an inch on each end. Half an inch on each end. Okay. You just need one of these, okay? And I know I told you to omit A and B, but um, I'm put I'm throwing them back in there because I think we're gonna do something different in the chipboard album than we've done the folio, okay? So I I, I added A and B and Q back into the mix, okay? You never know about me. You never know about me. All right. Are you guys ready? You guys ready to start putting this together? I'm going to get me a drink here, guys. Oh, that is so awesome, Connie. <laughs> Didn't start using her scoreboard, score, scoreboard until she met me. That's awesome. So how you guys doing? How you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys are doing. Yeah, A, we don't score. A, we do nothing to it. A, we do nothing to piece A. Nothing to it. We just look at it and make it pretty. Ooh, snakes. Ooh. No, thank you. I'm with her. I could do without those. <laughs> and like I said, guys, even though you don't like to do a recipe album, this is a perfect album to do for an everyday, you know, a wedding, you know, a baby's first life. I mean, 
it doesn't have to be a recipe album. Uh, it can be anything. PC, PC Michelle, is um, you're on the 10 and a half side. You're going to score at 9. That's just like PC, okay? PC, you're scoring on the 10 and a half inch side at 9, okay? Oh, Samantha says she's good to go. Cheryl says she's good to go. Um, my YouTube people ready to go too. Oh, you're so welcome, darling. So welcome. Oh, Julie, she cut and pre-scored earlier. Woohoo, you're on it. All right, guys. If you guys are ready. Let's start uh, putting this together on see what what were the score lines. Yes, Gail. Um, PC is 10 and a half by 11. You're scoring on the 10 and a half side at nine. That's it. Okay. PC is score on the um, 10 and a half inch side at nine. Okay. All right, guys. Are we ready? Let's go. Okay. Piece A. We do nothing to it. It just sits here and looks really pretty. Okay. Piece B. Now, I am using three-quarter inch score pal tape. Um, you can use glue. I like the art, art glitter glue. Okay. I mean, you can even use the Scotch Tacky Glue. I used that for years. And the girls um, finally talked me into getting the Art Glitter Glue, and I love it. Okay. But I'm I'm using Score Pal Tape. Okay. Oh, that's okay, Mary. So, when we score. Let me see if I can demonstrate. I don't know how my lighting is tonight. When we score, there's an indented side and a bumpy side. Okay. It, you can call it a, a mountain and a valley. But I call it the indented side and the bumpy side. Okay. Um, anytime you're with my tutorials, we always put the tape on the indented side, fold towards the bumpy side, unless I tell you different. And there is a few occasions that I will tell you different. Okay. But most of this album, I think, is um, put on the indented side. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Oh, no problem, Gail. No problem. Yep. You can... You can use half an inch. You can use three eighths. I just always use three eighths. Um, you can use a quarter inch. Um, I don't recommend it, but you can. If you use quarter of an inch, I will give you a little tip. Okay. If you use a quarter of an inch, I would keep your tape along the um, scored line. Okay. Don't put it closer to the cut edge. If you're using quarter inch score pile tape, I would keep that closer to your folded edge okay because you're covering with a, a less space you know you don't have as much space so when that folds over and you attach it um, it needs to be closer to the folded edge okay all right you girls are ready to rock and roll let's roll it put tape on both ends guys we're going to form a pocket here okay this is piece b and i'm putting the tape on the half inch on both ends okay now i'm going to fold and burnish we're folding towards the bumpy side um, i use my bone folder to burnish always make sure you burnish okay um, you get a cleaner straighter cleaner looking line okay Okay, piece A is on the bottom. Piece B is right on top. You're going to line it up on all four sides. 
okay all four sides now how i do this and um i try and show everybody this i put my hand here and i take my tape off put her down run my hand here hold her down take my tape off i used to take my tape off and then try and put her down and I, it was a hot mess and i started doing it this way so this is how i recommend it okay so now we have a pocket looky there we're on a roll now <laughs> we're on a roll now <laughs> okay so you can set that aside pc piece e and we only need one e so if you've done two with me put it aside and we can use it for um something okay okay just a second i need to um, look at this here real quick all right okay piece d okay you're going to need both pieces of d both pieces of c and e c and e both pieces of d okay you're going to apply your tape to the indented side on both pieces of d eh, there it is okay both pieces of e d sorry d Yes, you can still purchase the tutorial, hun. You can purchase this tutorial at the discounted price until we are done with this recipe album. When we are done with it, I will put it back to regular price, which is $18.99. While we are working on this tutorial, I'm offering it for $7.50. I do that whenever we work on an album. I will discount the tutorial when we're done then i put it back to regular price okay and i try and do like three or four um tutorials um like this a year okay three or four somewhere right around there okay and i, I do a lot of decorating um on albums we just got done with the gatefold album and um I offered the tutorial low price and you made it on your own and then we decorated it together okay so you're going to fold towards the bumpy side on both d pieces both these pieces okay your tape should be like that after you fold all right All right, so I'm going to stick A over here on the side here for for just a few minutes. Piece E, you're going to fold towards the bumpy side. Fold towards the bumpy side and burnish. Do that to piece E and C. E and C. Fold towards the bumpy side and burnish. Okay? And burnish. You guys are going to get tired of hearing the word burnish. <laughs> okay. Now, these two aspects of this album mirror each other. Okay. We're working on the middle part. Let me show you what we're working on so you can kind of have a feel of what we're... Um, we're working on these pieces right here. Okay. These pieces right here. So it's going to have a pocket, it's going to have some flaps, and it's going to have um, this piece right here. 
Okay, that's what we're working on. So they mirror each other. Okay. Okay, so um, have them like this. Okay. Piece D is going to go right along this cut edge. You want your flaps up. Okay, your flaps, you should be seeing your flaps. Now I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can put piece D right along this cut edge. Okay, you're going to line it up. Okay. Mine don't line up very well. Oh, that's right. That one piece was a little wonky. I do remember that. You know what? I'm going to make this second. I don't, I don't like how this one is looking. Uh, some, and, and you'll find out that not all paper is square, which sucks. But not all paper is square. And you'll find some are worse than others. And that still ain't. You know, I'm not liking the way this one's. See? Look how off that is. Do you guys see that? Let me see if I can. I mean, that's quite a ways off. Let me see if I can't get, fix this. That's pretty bad. That being off like that, it's throwing, um, throwing it off a little bit. Let's see what that does. There, that fixed it. Yay. Now I'm happy. I'm a happy camper now. I know it is frustrating. It really is. So now you should have a pocket. Okay. A pocket and the flap over here. Okay. Now let's do the same thing to here. You got piece C. And piece D. Piece D. We're doing the same thing. It's on the cut edge. Here's your flap. Okay, there's your flap. Take your tape off when you got it. Okay, do that to both pieces, please. Okay. So here we go. There's both those pieces. Now you need piece M N O P. Okay. Pieces M Your pieces P O N and M. So let's get these taped up and then we will put it together. Okay, so you can set these two pieces aside. All right.
Okay, piece P. You are going to apply your tape to the indented side on all four pieces. These are belly bands, is what piece P is, um, a belly band, okay? Do this to all four pieces. You're putting tape on the indented side, all right? Putting tape on the indented side. That's piece P. Piece N is a pocket. So now we're going to apply tape to all three sides. You don't have to go clear to the end with your tape because we're going to be mitering these corners. All right. Piece N. Oops, on the indented side, guys. On the indented side. Okay. Do this to all four pieces. I should have had some of these already pre-done. I didn't even think about it. Is my YouTube people still hanging in? Are you guys still with me? <laughs> yeah, I think this is up only about my second time I've ever live streamed to YouTube. I did um, a tutorial here a few months back on a live stream for YouTube. Piece O to the indented side on that half inch. Do it to both pieces, please. I guess we got four pieces. Do it to all four pieces on that half inch. Piece O. Yeah, so this is only my second time doing this on YouTube too. So you guys will have to forgive me. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Brissy is still there and Donnie's still there. Awesome. All right. All four of those pieces. Piece M. Same thing. The indented side. Do it to both pieces. All right. Okay. Let's put this together. Piece. Okay. Piece O, oh, four of them. We are going to fold towards a bumpy and burnish. Do that to all four of those pieces. Okay. Fold it towards a bumpy side and burnish. All four pieces, please. 
you're a lot slower dreamer hey there's nothing wrong with that that's why i leave the re replays up and you um can always watch the replays hun if you get behind all right now these are our pockets we we um have to miter the corners okay now let me when you miter a corner okay this is a pocket we scored and that forms an x let's see if i can get it to where i can see it that forms an x so what you're going to do you're going to cut right through the middle of that right through the middle okay so that there's what we cut off you're going to do that to all four pieces at the end right through the middle of that x what this does it reduces bulk in our album okay so right through the middle of that for the, my other classes guys i may have some of it already scored or not scored some of it scored and taped okay and then you know i'll save one to show you okay so now that we done that let's fold towards the bumpy side and burnish fold and burnish okay do this to all four pieces Oh, that's awesome, Carla. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> All four pieces. All four pieces. These are going to be pockets. These are going to go on our piece O. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, do our piece piece two while we're at it. So you're going to fold on that half inch towards the bumpy side and burnish. You always want your tape to be under underneath, okay? Might as well go ahead and do M while we're at it. Fold up towards the bumpy side and burnish. I'm glad you got it, Beth. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Ow. All right. Are you guys ready to put it together? Are you guys ready? Sorry, I had to get a drink. Okay. Oh, I see a bunch of likes and hearts. All right, let's go. Oh, you want a margarita? <laughs> okay, I'll go get you one. <laughs> I'll go get you one. Piece O. We are going to attach piece in. Okay. 
Now on this piece, this is something that is very, very important. When you put piece in on top of piece O, you're lining piece in right on top of piece O. Do not go over on this edge on piece O. <coughs> because when this is on top, <coughs> sorry guys. When this is on top, these flip open. And if you're over on this edge with piece in, your pocket, this pocket is not going to flip open all the way. Okay. So piece in, you have to line that up just right on top. Do not go over. If anything, go under. Okay. That one's a little bit funky. So I'm going to try a different one. It might fit better on a different one. So do not, whatever you do, do not go over. Okay, hold it down, take your tape off. Because if you go over, it affects how these flip, flip open, okay? Dang it. Okay. So do this to all four pieces. Okay. Piece in right on top of piece O. Piece in right on top of O. Do not go over on this edge because these um, little pocket flips will not work right. They will not open all the way. Okay. They will, it creates resistance is what it does. Hashtag Vanessa. What? Yes, uh, replying to Joyce. Hashtag Vanessa. Am um, I supposed to be looking at something? <laughs> Vanessa needs to do it for me. You trade your coffee for your margarita. That's awesome, Julie. <laughs> yeah, Joyce, just uh, uh, if you need me to do something, uh, message me, hon. Okay. Or if you want to put it on here, I don't care. Totally up to you, hon. Oh, you love how I remove my tape like that? Yep, that's how I... have done it for quite some time now it's i find it much easier you know versus take all my tape off and then i'm trying to line it up and oh got it crooked guess what i'm redoing it so this is the way that i've done it for a long time now because i cannot get nothing straight Oh, I know what I need to do, Joyce. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I know exactly what she's talking about. It's what we've been talking about for the last few times. I need, and I'm not afraid. I need to go get my appointment to go get my um, mammogram. Go get my mammogram. I, ain't uh, October, is it October that is breast cancer month? Or is that November? I can't remember. But yes, Joyce, I need to be doing that. I know I, I've been saying that for a whole week now. I just need to do it. And you're doing this to all four pieces. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I should. Thank you, Linda. Yes, the pocket is on the foot. Here's the half inch flap. The pocket is on the folded edge. Yes. So here's your pocket. Flip it over. Here's your half inch. Okay. Your pocket is piece in is applied right on top on the folded edge. Yeah, I thought it was October was brisk. Breast Awareness Month. Yeah, I 
<gasps> oh no, Sharon, I did not for a blue margarita. <gasps> oh my, I gotta go look. I'll be right back. No, I'm just joking. I gotta go look though when I get done. Blue margarita. <gasps> oh, Sharon. All right, all four pieces. Okay. Now, let's go ahead. Let's get our D, C, and E pieces. Okay. Okay. This is D, C, and E. All right. Now, what you're going to do, piece M. Okay, get both your pieces M. I know, a blue margarita. Oh, yeah. Yep, you go right ahead, jo Joyce. You keep bugging me until I do it. You just keep bugging me. Okay. <clears throat> Piece M. Let's go ahead and go. Here's our flap. Okay, here's our flap. Oh, you do? Oh, I can't I can't wait to go look at that. Here's our flap. Here is our um, other edge. So piece M is going right on this straight edge over here. Okay, and it's about, let me get my ruler, about an inch. Inch from the top, inch from the bottom. I just eyeball it. Do not go over because this is going to be a binding side. This is going to attach. So do not go over on this side over here because it's what binds. The first recipe to add to this project. That's awesome, Donnie. <laughs> I know. We should have a recipe album that's all for our drinks. Oh, thanks. Inviting thoughts. Thanks very much. That's the easiest way I found to do it. And that is something about me. Um, I'm not afraid to show you the little tips and tricks. And what I know, you guys are going to know. Okay. I, I do not hide nothing. Um, I do not edit videos. I You get um, what you get with me. I, I mean, I, I'm an open book. I'll tell you exactly, um, you know, what I think. Um, so yeah, yeah, I don't edit anything. So if I, uh, say a bad word, it doesn't get bleeped. <laughs> it's not cut out. You guys get to hear it. <laughs> yep. So what you see is what you get. And I try and teach you guys um everything that i know okay the other piece of m now remember these two are mirroring each other okay so that's why i got both my pieces here now this piece m is going right on this piece here is our flap here's our straight edge you're going to line it up and you can set this one you know right beside it line it up exactly where the other m is but it's, that aspect is really not going to really show. You're not going to notice it. I don't think it's too far apart on the album. Can you show me how M opens up? Yes, Carla. M, here we go. This is piece M. Piece M opens up like that. Here's piece D. Here's piece M. Here is our flap over here. All right. Oh, that's awesome, Michelle. Yep. I mean, what you see is what you get. And, you know, life happens. The phone may ring during a live. Um, Will may come in here, you know, and bug us. Um, yeah. So. It's just as real as it can get. All right. So there's piece M added. Let's get our two pieces of N-O. N-O spells no. 
<laughs> get your two pieces of N and O. And it's going to be about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Away from the bottom. You're going to stagger these two. Okay. And it's about a quarter of an inch. Maybe, you know, just a little less. Again, do not go over on this folded edge. This is our flap. Okay. This is our flap right here. We are attaching these right on top of this flap. Do not go over this edge because they will not open right. Okay. About a quarter of an inch. Okay. About a quarter of an inch. Do not go over. Or I'll have to come to your house and uh, help you. <laughs> Okay, next one, about a quarter of an inch in between, and then a quarter of an inch. Again, do not go over on this side, guys. I can't stress that enough because here's, here's the deal. When you open these, you want it to lay flat. You do not want it to have any resistance. If you get those too close to the edge, when they open, this piece here, piece O, no, piece N, will hit this edge here, and it will not open fully. Okay? Yeah, we're going to be getting together. But I think it's at heads up. It's probably going to be Oklahoma. So, if... Anybody in Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, around that area, um, I'm probably going to do be doing a retreat in Oklahoma. Okay? So, yeah. Details to come here, here pretty soon. But, yeah, I'm going to be hosting a retreat in, I think, Oklahoma. Okay? Give her a burnish. Then you guys can come and meet me in person. And then you won't ever want to see me ever again. No. <laughs> I love to have fun. You know, I love to have fun. I love life. Um, every day when I wake up, I thank God. You know, he gave me another day. And I love life. You know, so. And I love having fun. So these now flip open. There is our. Um, patchwork page and piece M. Okay, let's do the same thing to our other one. All right, but it's going to be op. It's going to be opposite. Okay. Two pieces of N O spells no. <laughs> um, that the town is uh uh. Blue Just a second. What was the name of that town? Two Mounds, Oklahoma. Mounds, Oklahoma, Stella. Mounds, Oklahoma. All right. So here is our half inch. You're going to put that. We're going to do exactly the same thing we just done over here, guys. Okay. Same thing. So about a quarter of an inch away from the bottom. Do not, I repeat, do not go over on this edge. Do not go over on this edge, guys, because they will not open right. It will create resistance. Come on, tape. About a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. Where do you live at, Stella? I don't remember. Where do you live at, Stella? Let me know, and I'll tell you about how far it's probably away from you. Okay. There we go. There's our pocket. 
piece M, piece N, and O. And what time is it? 8.35. All right. It's three and a half hours from you. Oh, yay. Awesome. Yeah, I will. I've got to do a little bit more planning with them, but um, I'm pretty sure it's a, a go. And um, I can only, I think, um, I have 15 or 14 spots. Nope, take that back. I have 13 spots. Uh, I will have 13 spots. And um, I think it's... Um, Anyway, I'll release more information. Oh, we've got our belly bands. Oh, my gosh. What am I thinking? All right. This is where you need your pen and your ruler. But, yeah, more to come on that. Oh, Paris, Texas, about five miles from Oklahoma border. Awesome. <coughs> All righty. Now, our belly bands, I stagger these. This is totally up to you, okay? The first one is, um, I think it's three quarters of an inch. Let me double check. Okay. The first one, the, the very top one, okay, guys? The very top one, okay? The very top one is an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to make a little tick mark. Make a little tick mark. And then I'm going to draw a little line. And that will tell me where my belly band goes, okay? The next one is an inch and inch and three quarters okay the top one is an inch and a quarter the bottom one is an inch and three quarters that's if you want to stagger them i just think it creates just a little bit um difference not difference um i don't know a different decorating aspect <coughs> Oh, it's only 18 hours from you? Yeah, it's about six to seven hours away from me. But yeah, 18 hours, that's a little bit of a drive. Okay, so the top one is an inch and a quarter. Top one is an inch and three quarters. Okay, these belly bands will run right up your, um, right along your line. You want to make sure. And if one doesn't fit, try a different one. Okay. There, this one fits better. All right. Hold it there and take your tape off. Okay. Seven hours. I would draw it. I don't know. I mean, it depends on how many days it is. Um, heck, I'd probably be willing to drive at least 12 hours. <laughs> if, it, if it was more, you know, the further I drive... I want it to be, you know, more than just a couple of days. If I'm going to drive that far, I want the retreat to be, you know, at least four days. Okay, so there's what it looks like. Let me um, show you. So it just gives it a different um, element being staggered like that, okay? 
this gives it a different different element and I like it um, and two guys right now I do have my tutorial club open okay um, and it closes October the 4th and I so if you guys are not a part of my tutorial club I highly recommend it I mean if you're thinking about it now is the time to join because when I switch it over to my website, it's going to be $20 or higher. So now is the time to um, get that. You get access. I have over 70 tutorials in my box account. And you get access to all of them. Plus whatever I put in there in the future. And you're locked in at this price no matter what I charge after I put it on my website. Alright, so now I'm just going to connect my dots. The top one, ooh, is that right? Yeah. Top one is an inch and a quarter. Bottom one is an inch and three quarters. Okay. Inch and three quarters. That almost looks crooked. I'm going to use my grid on my mat. And it was crooked. Thought it was. I didn't think that looked straight. Yeah, thank you very much, Pamela. Thank you, thank you. Yep, nice vacation. You bet. And lots of fun. Okay, so just line up your belly band with your mark. And don't worry about your mark show. I mean, we're going to be covering with paper anyway. So you don't have to worry about erasing your lines or anything. Okay. There we go. There's our other side. <coughs> so looky there. Woohoo. Was that easy enough, guys? Was that easy? Oh, that would be awesome, darling. Now, um, there is several that I do have from Illinois up around there. That would be awesome. <laughs> but I will tell you, this time I'm going um, south. Next time I may go east. Next time I may go west. Next time I may go north. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, you never know. And um, if it work, you know, if works out, it'd be wonderful, wonderful. And I will tell you, the retreat will be more. You can, um, I'm gonna be there probably five days. Okay, so um, that's um, um, I at least want the retreat to be four days. Okay, because if you're gonna drive to a retreat. It, for just two days ain't worth it to me. But I'll, I'll have more um, details coming up. Oh, thank you, Krista, for the tutorial clubs. She put the um, the the link in here. If, if you're interested in my tutorial club, guys, right now it's $14.99. Um, after I move it over to my website, it's going to be 20 bucks or more. Now is the time to hop on it. And it is well worth it. I have a lot of tutorial people in here right now that will vouch that um, they love it. They love it. And I've had a gal tell me that it was better than Netflix. That makes me happy. <laughs> and I share, I share that all the time because I just think that is so cool. She said it was um, better than Netflix. Then I have an, another lady that tells me that it's uh, better than sliced bread.
Oh, Julie says, come to Michigan. There's a lot of places up there in Ohio that's scrapbook retreats. They have a lot of options up there. All right, guys, we've been on for almost two hours. Um, I think this is probably a good place to stop. Um, so tomorrow night, we have our other pieces over here. Okay, KLJ. We'll get these. This is all the rest of the middle stuff. So we'll we'll finish those up and get those hooked. All these pieces here hooked to um, piece A. So tomorrow night um, we will get that done. And we may even get our other pieces cut and scored. And then that way the third night um, we'll put those um, right and left hand sides together. And... And then a couple of videos um, putting it, you know, all the chip, cutting of the chipboard and doing all that and getting all this attached to our chipboard album. So, yes. Oh, there they go. They're saying, oh, it's, it's well worth it. Well, thank you for being on, Pam. Thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoyed this same time same place tomorrow night um guys and um we will work on the middle section and the two outer ends and maybe we can wipe out some more i'd stay on longer tonight but i worked all day today so i am just a little bit tuckered out okay um what's going on the sides chipboard um chipboard for it's a get like a gatefold album virginia that will um, be out of chipboard and it will be a gatefold almost just like this but these spines will have chipboard you'll have chipboard here chipboard here okay it will have a chipboard outer spine and then um, a cardstock a little bit of a cardstock spine in the middle okay or tie back if you want to um, use tie back you can all right, guys, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't picked up your tutorial yet, please go pick it up. It's at a very low price, and you will get three albums um, for the price of one. And um, if you're interested in the tutorial club, please sign up. Um, all the ladies enjoy it, and they think it's perfect. Okay, guys? So, uh, Okay, guys, that's it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you hashtag it. Um, that alerts me to your question. Other than that, um, I'll let you guys go. Um, have a good rest of your even, and we will see you tomorrow night. Okay, we will continue the party. All right, talk to you girls later. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>